Black women are more likely than other women to die of cancer, according to research from the American Cancer Society. As Danya Backus reports, it is one reason why the organization has launched a groundbreaking initiative aimed at understanding why. Madeline Long and her daughter Chanel Wade have a personal connection to cancer. Madeline is a breast cancer survivor. Chanel carries the BRCA gene, putting her at high risk for the disease. When I turned 25, I had to do checks every year for breast cancer. So it just makes it very real. It's why the mother and daughter are calling on black women to be a part of the American Cancer Society's Voices of Black Women, the largest ever study of cancer risk and outcomes in black women in the United States. 100,000 black women is who we're aiming to partner with. Dr. Alpa Patel is the senior vice president of population science at the American Cancer Society. There are really unique barriers to access to preventing a cancer, detecting, treating, or surviving a cancer that black women face. The study is observational and for about 30 years will collect data from black women ages 25 to 55 who have never been diagnosed with cancer, examining things like behaviors, environment, and lifestyle. How is it applied later? What this tells us is what is driving poorer health outcomes, particularly for cancer, for black women, and now we have some actual targets for intervention. Chanel is taking part in the research for her family. If we can look at it and, and point to where the differences are, we can take a proactive step even before we get to the place where we need the radiation, the chemotherapy, and all these other things. This is what prevention really looks like. And so when we talk about health care disparities, this is how we bring down the numbers. Prevention that could help save future generations. Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles.